All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wahab, Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am Ashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as Lean Upon the Lord. All right, you want to lean upon the Lord. And, uh, you know, through the Spirit, you know, the Lord, you know, put the Spirit on me to, you know, do a um, quick little lesson on this. I'm going to try not to make it long, but, you know, it's all willing through the spirit of Yahweh Bashima Shai. So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Psalms 34 and verse 1. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. It says, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that's how you are to be as an Israelite, a so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American Indian. All right. You are to be praising the Lord continually. All right. With your mouth, man. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. His praise shall continually be in our mouths, man. And that's a cut to you other Israelite groups. Because you got Israelite groups out there saying not to uh, call upon the name of the Lord as Yahweh by Hashem Shai and making it a doctrine. Well, the scriptures say to continually call upon the name of the Lord. You know, the scriptures tell us to call upon the name of the Lord. So you want to continually praise him. And how are you going to be able to praise the Lord continually with your mouth? By calling upon his name. All right. Because the Lord's name is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. Yah means he. Hawa means to be, exist. He is. Bahashim coming in the name. Yahweh Shai. Yah means he. Yahweh Shai means savior or deliverer. That's the one only true name of the only begotten son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So you want to lean upon the Lord. And that's what we do. We lean upon the Lord, man. Psalms 34 2. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Now, when you go into the meaning of that word boast there, we're going to get it. And I want to get the etymology too. When you go into the meaning of that word boast in the Hebrew. Strong's H, 1984. Halal. Halal. Let's get the, uh, let's go into the Google translation of it. Salakia. Because I want to make sure that I'm correct. Um, let's get the etymology of boast. Yep. It says boast. It says arrogance, presumption, pride, vanity. All right. It says a brag, boastful speech. All right. So it's arrogance, presumption, and pride, man. All right, but when you go into the Hebrew, the blue letter is H 1984, which means to shine, uh, to flash forth light, to praise, boast, be boastful. All right, to be boastful. All right, boastful in ones, boasters, to praise. All right, to be praised. And this scripture, though, is talking about praising the Lord. All right, being boastful in the Lord, you know. And that's how we are to be, you know. It says, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. And you want to boast in the Lord. You want to praise the Lord, man. You want to serve the Lord, man. It says, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Verse 13, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. There you go. That's a cut to you other Israelite groups because you say don't make the name a doctrine. But the scriptures say, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. And that word exalt, it means to lift. So we're going to praise the Lord. We're going to call upon his name. That word boast goes into the Hebrew of uh, to praise, man. All right. To boastful lift, to praise. When you go into the entomology, it means arrogance and pride and presumption. But we're boasting in, in the for the Lord, though. We're praising the Lord. All right. We have a pride. We're praising the Lord, man. You know, we're exalting his name. Verse four, I sought the Lord and he heard me 
and deliver me from all my fears. See, the Lord is going to deliver you from all your fears. The Lord is in control. All things are in control of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right, it says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears, right? Because whatever you're going through was causing you to be vexed. You know, because vex, vex, the word vex means to be afraid or to tremble. You can be angrily vexed. You can be uh, 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 sad vex. You can be uh, uh, scared vex. You know, when you vex, you can you can be vexed in any situation. Uh, you know, you can be vexed in many different uh, emotions, man. You know, it says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Verse five, it says, they looked onto him and were lightened. It says, and their faces were not ashamed verse 6 it says the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles and there you go you see the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles and that's what the lord is going to do for his whole for elect in the time of jacob's trouble the lord is going to deliver us out of our troubles all right we're not going to have to worry and stress and bug out like the rest of these two-third jakes because we have faith in the lord and we're going to praise the lord and that's why you you want to lean upon the Lord 24-7. You want to lean upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, you want to keep your mind focused on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You want to continually seek the Lord. You want to, you know, continually, you know, ask the Lord to, to strengthen you, man. You know, ask the Lord to deliver you out of your situations, man. You know, verse 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. Verse 8, it says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. It says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. So, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord. So, you got to serve the Lord, man. All right? You got to serve the Lord. You got to lean upon the Lord. So, like, you got to trust in the Lord, man. And you got to lean upon the Lord, man. All right? You're going to lean upon the Lord. You got to trust in the Lord, man. Let the Lord handle your issues. Let the Lord, you know, uh, give all your uh, prob your all your stressful you know, uh, standards that you have, just give it to your Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. All these things that's causing you to be vexed, give it to the Most High. Lean upon the Lord because he's going to be the one to handle it for you. All right. You can only handle so much. You can only deal with so much and handle so much as an Israelite, man. You know, I'm just going to give it upon the Most High. Don't let it. Don't take it to the point where you let it bug you out. Verse 8, this is Psalms 34 and 8. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. And that's what it's all about. Trusting in the Lord, Yahweh Bashi Mashai, leaning upon him. You know? The same, you know, and I'm going to put it for you simple, Jake. So, so like your elders and brothers. Um, but, you know, I'm going to put it a simple way because that's what Jake do. This is what Jake do, the two-thirds. If you love, have you ever uh, trusted somebody who you, have you ever, uh, I don't know how to put it. You trusted in somebody who you really, 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 really trusted. You, you know, and you know, you uh, love them really, really, really a lot. Whoever it is, whoever that person is, and you, you, you'll trust them on any, anything they say, whatever they say, you trust them, man. It don't matter if you even think they, even if somebody told you they were wrong, you still trust that person. That's how you got to be with the most high, but 10 times more than 20 times, thousand more, man. All right. More than that. All right, that's the best way I could put it. So that's why that's who you want to trust in. Trust in your how about Shimashaya. The same way you would trust in that individual, no matter what anybody say, you wouldn't care. You still trust that person. Even if somebody told you they were this, they were that, and you didn't care, you still going to hang out with that person or you still going to trust that person. Because that's what two thirds Jakes do. I'm just giving a, you know, a, um, a perfect example spiritually. So you want to trust in the most high like that, but 10 times more. All right, 20,000 trillion more all right just saying you want to trust the lord more all right more than that more than how you trust that individual verse 9 it says oh fear the lord ye his saints and who are the saints the israelites the so-called negroes you so-called negroes hispanics and native american indians all right it says for there is no want to them that fear him all right there's there's no want to them that fear him because if you fear the lord the lord's going to see that man the Lord is going to be there for you. He's going to guide you. He's going to get you through it, you know. But that's pretty much it on that. I want to uh, go back. Um, so I get, I'm going to go back to that, the precepts. But that's pretty much on that. So you want to trust in the Lord. You want to lean upon the Lord, man. 
This is Isaiah 41 and 13. It says, For I, the Lord, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. So the Lord will be there for you. The Lord will, will uphold thee. The Lord will keep you stable. All right. The Lord is never going to give you anything too much that you can't handle. And I got a precept for that. This is first Corinthians 10 to 13. It says there have no temptation taking you, but such as is common to men. But Yahweh by Shimeon Shai is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tipped above that ye are able. So the Lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle. The Lord is going to give you just enough to try you. All right. But the Lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle. He's going to give you. He's going to push you just enough to try you, man. That's how our power works. It says, but Yahweh by Shimeon Shai is faithful. It says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. It says, but will with temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So the Lord is never going to give you too much that you can't handle. He's just going to give you just enough to try you individually. Because the Lord knows how to try each and every one of us according to our own measure. The Lord knows where to try each and every one of us accordingly to our own measure, man. All right. Whatever it is. Some brothers got different things that they go through than I do. I go through different things than other brothers. The Lord knows where to try us according to our own measure. All right. So he's never going to give you too much that you can't handle, but he's going to give you just enough to try you. All right. Because that's how the Lord works. And it all has to do with trying on your faith. That's why you got to be, you know, build up in this truth. All right. Hmm. This is uh, Philippians 4 and 6. It says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. And that word supplication means favor. It says, With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto your how about Shema Shai. So, right. Lean upon the Lord, man. All right. Lean upon the Lord. Trust in the Lord. All right. That's why I read that example about the poor man being delivered. The, the, the You know, the Lord delivered the poor man when you go into Psalms 34. All right, the Lord delivered him. He cried upon the Lord and the Lord delivered him from his troubles. So you want to lean upon the Lord, man. You want to give all your uh, stress that you have, that you're dealing with in this captivity, give it to your Ha'obah Shimeon Shai, man. You know, you want to give those things to your Ha'obah Shimeon Shai. You know, this is Psalms 8, 18 and 2. It says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer and my power, my strength in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower right because the lord is our high tower man he's going to be there for us he's going to guide us he's going to get us through all right he's going to he's going to he's going to he's going to direct our paths as the scripture said it said man's goings are of the lord man the lord is in control of all things all right this is romans 12 and 2 it says and be not conformed to this world so right be not conformed to this world all right. That's why you have to separate yourself out of the ways of this society, you know, separate yourself, man, because you can't you can't be committed to this place called America. You're going to be destroyed doing that, being embedded to this and committed to this this damn captivity. You're going to be destroyed. All right. It says, but be ye transformed in the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh Bashi Mashiach. What's the perfect will of the Lord? All right, the Lord is going to sustain you in this thing. Everything is all perfect balance. So you how about Shema Shai? He's going to sustain you if he wants to sustain you. That's why you want to ask the Lord for mercy so the Lord can continually sustain you in this truth. All right, because you want to stay sustained in this truth. You don't want to be falling out or bugged out or any of that. That's why you want to lean upon the Lord. That's why the scriptures say in Proverbs um, 3 and 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And that word heart is a Hebrew word, which means love. It says, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Don't lean into your own understanding. And that's the downfall for a lot of you Jakes, you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Spanish, Native American Indians. Y'all love to lean into your own understanding. And you can't be doing that. All right? Leaning into your own understanding, you're setting yourself up for destruction. Verse 6, it says, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So you want to lean upon the Lord, man. You want to seek the Lord. You want to lean upon the Lord. Because the Lord is the one that's in control. He's going to direct your paths. You know, he's the one that's in control of all things, man. You know, and this is a uh, This is Psalms 34 and 19. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of all. Deliver him, delivereth him out of them all. And that's facts. Let's read that again. Many are the afflictions of the righteous because we're afflicted here. All right. We're afflicted here. We're dealing with strikes on our channel. You know, our, we put so much energy into our videos and then we get a strike, you know, 
And that's what Esau do, excuse me. It's like it. But I thought, but you know, we put so much into our videos and we get a strike for it. They take our videos down. We, they take away our privileges of uploading videos for two weeks. Cause I'm going through that right now. You got brothers thinking that you, you, you what happened to him? Dang, like, oh, what happened to him? He fell off. He ain't doing no works. He ain't did no works. And they not knowing that you got a strike on your channel, man. Not knowing that, you know, we are sh- afflicted and tormented in this truth. I'm going to get that precept out after this one. It's a Psalms 34 and 19. But through the whole, all of that that you go through, like for myself and me getting a strike on my channel for two weeks, not being able to upload no lessons and all these other things I'm going through. That's all of the trying of the Lord, Yahweh Bashi Mashai, man. Because the Lord is in control of all things. All right. The Lord is in control of all things. And this is um, Psalms 34, 19. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of delivereth him out of them all. Right. Because the Lord is in control of all things. The Lord is in control of all things and he's going to deliver us out of them all, man. All right. But you got to be fully persuaded and you got to know these things, man. You got to be fully persuaded in your mind. You got to know it. All right. Let me see if I can get that precept out. Uh, let me get that precept out. Uh, It's first Corinthians though. Mm. It's Hebrews eleven and thirty-seven. Salakia. It's Hebrews eleven and thirty-seven. It says they were stone, they were sawn asunder. It says were tempt, which they were. They were the, going into the uh, apostles, all right, going into the apostles and what they went through. This is Hebrews eleven and thirty-seven. It says they were stoned, they were they were sawn asunder. It says were tempted, were slain with the sword, because you had you had those in the ancient times of the Roman captivity that were beheaded, all right. They yet some Israelites that were beheaded, all right. It says, it says they were, they says they wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destituted, afflicted, and tormented. We get tormented in this truth. We go through a lot. That's why through all of that, you're supposed to lean upon the Lord. Through all of that, the torments, the, you know, the, 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 um, the scoffing, you know, people speaking out against you, you know, through all of that, man calling you a false prophet i got called a false prophet by this wicked ass demon i know where you're a false prophet you ain't you don't know the truth you know we go through all of that but through all of that you still gotta lean upon the lord you gotta let the lord deliver you all right and i wanted to get that uh um get that precept about persuaded in your own mind there it is right there Cause going through all of this, man, this is you got to be built for this. You got to be spiritually built, and you got to ask the Lord to build you up, build you up in the spirit, man. This is Romans fourteen and five, and I'm ending it with this. It says, "One man esteemeth one day above another; another esteemeth every day alike." It says, "Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind." You got to be fully persuaded in this truth. All right, there's no way that you're just gonna be able to come into this truth and not be fully persuaded. Hell no, nah, you're gonna fall out quick. All right, you got to be fully persuaded in your own mind. All right, so uh, through all of this, you got to lean upon the Lord, man. So, hey, man, Lord, one is that's is edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, who is the one and only true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and true name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who we learned this truth from through the spirit and power Yahweh Bahashem Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the full elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am your brother, Mashiach Arazaka. 
from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada. Until the next time, Lord willing, that's what's edifying. I say, Shalom. <laughs>